The month of May is a very busy month in the bird kingdom. The season of life has begun. Multiple species have been spotted collecting twigs and leaves. The crow, the fantail and the bulbuls. The white spotted fantail standing at no more than 7 inches tall and weighing less than 15 grams. They are brown in color which helps them mix into the woody surroundings they are often found in. Fantails are a hyperactive species. They hop, skip and jump around branches. You need to be quick to be able to capture them. The name fantail comes from their tail which resembles a hand fan, often seen wagging them about in a motion one would use to fan themselves. These fantail species are monogamous and very territorial. They are fearless when they have to be and contain within their tiny body enough strength to bully crows and sometimes even cats. They build nests using twigs, reeds, leaves on low-hanging tree branches. The nest building as well as incubating the eggs is a couple's activity. They take turns incubating as well as feeding the hatchlings once born. The lovely couple we are looking at today look like experienced parents. Their nest built to perfection on a low tree branch with enough shade and warmth for the tiny egg to be hatched properly. The incubation period for a white spotted fantail lasts anywhere between 12 to 14 days. One nest can have anywhere between 1 to 4 eggs, but this couple seems to have only one. Whilst this little birdie continues to be incubated, we spotted another couple preparing a luxurious nest, the red-vented bulbul. These birds seem experienced as well as they have completed their nest and seem to have already laid an egg. We'll have a look at this family in another video. Let's get back to our favorite pair of fantail. The egg seems to have hatched on day 12. The little fantail is a rat with no feathers as of yet. Within 2 days he is as lively as any other hungry bird baby. His primary diet the first few days includes tiny insects which the parents have caught. They take turns feeding the hatchling and do so diligently. They also take turns watching over the nest. The little birdie seems to be napping peacefully under the parents' watchful eye. In another corner of the tree, they have spotted a predator, one almost three times their size. They attack this female cuckoo with fervor. The little birdie will not be harmed today. The little birdie unaware continues to sleep peacefully. After the fight, the parents return. The little birdie has awakened and the feeding begins again. At this stage, the hatchling does not have feathers yet and is kept warm and cozy with either parents plopping themselves on top of the nest The little hatchling still fascinated with the bright world keeps sneaking peeks from under them This fledgling continues to feed on house flies, bugs and bees. We found a crow family preparing for the arrival of their fledgling. They were spotted flying towards a higher branch not long ago. Unfortunately, we could not record the scene due to the height of this branch, but we hope this little birdie grows well. Back to our little birdie fantail, who seems to have grown a lot. But oh wait, what's that? A cat? Another giant predator? Of course, a mortal threat to these little parents. A passing stray cat has made its way into this young parent's territory. They begin the low flying attack ritual, and the cat does look terrified. 
On its little nest, the little birdie sits and preens itself, readying herself to take flight soon. After a few minutes of this cat and um cat and um bird game, they are successful in chasing away the trespasser. They get back to their feeding duties. Day after day, feeding continues with bigger and bigger insects each time. Oh look at the size of this insect! Will she be able to swallow it? Looks like she won't. Oh, look at that. She did it. Good job, little one. She continues to stretch her little wings, ready to be able to fly. The mother keeps a watchful eye when the little body stretches onto its toes. The preening session seems like a long one as she checks all her muscles as ready as ever for the big day. Oh, so that's how I fly. She looks on as her mother flies away. The little hatchling is not so little anymore. Within 6 days of feeding, she has doubled in size and already ready to hop out. The mother doesn't like this idea, I guess, as she covers the little birdie once again with herself. But this time, the little birdie does not want to hide. She demands to be allowed to look at the beautiful world outside. It's day twelve, and let's see how our favorite little birdie is doing. Um, uh. Where is she? I don't see the birdie in the nest. Mm-mm. Oh, there she is. Look on the branch. That fluffy little thing. She already took her first flight it seems. Oh, oh. you move behind the branch ah uh, no worries camera 2 uh camera 2 oh there we can see you again little birdy the parents continue to feed the little birdy as she prepares to take flight unfortunately we seem to have missed the big flight we tried to shoot this film without disturbing the little family The nest is now empty. We have only this nest to remember the little birdie's journey for the past month. The fledgling was spotted again, grown way bigger than when we saw him last. Giving the nest enough days, we went to take a closer look. For the sake of science, we measured the nest, the height at which it was built, along with the depth and width of the nest. So here it was, my daily journey of the month, to look at this little birdie grow up. Thank you.